All right. Aye. Just remind me that I've got this right. The farm wasn't big enough for me and Joe, so I sent him off to Spain while I stayed here. <laughs> Enjoy it while you can. Soon be lambing. Yeah, well, at least you can see something for your efforts. So it was you? I thought you unrammed it all the work. <laughs> Soup? I was hoping it would be tea with a healthy shot of brandy in it. A bit early for that, isn't it? Well, unless you're Alan Turner. <laughs> Any road, you won't like it in Spain. Grub's not up to much, so they tell me. Well, you've never been? Nah. You imagine how much it'd cost to take my lot over there? Mind you, Janet'd love it. Well, now she's working. Two wages. You can get your Sarah to give her a rise. All right, so they can spend it down the Woolpack like they're doing tonight. Woolpack? They're not going there. They're going to some fancy wine bar in Hotton. Sarah didn't say. Yeah, her professor recommended it, apparently. So Jan says. Oh, well, it must be good, then. Mm. <laughs> I don't often drink wine. <laughs> I used to. Since being with Jack, though, I've started drinking pints of beer. Well, why, if you like wine? I honestly don't know. <laughs> you know, since I started working with Andrew, I've been thinking a lot. When Jack and I got together, I turned my back on my old way of life. Oh, great. Right. You're still happy with him, aren't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. But... Being a farmer's wife? No. A, a farmer. I insisted on being called a farmer. Uh, I, I really went for it, though. Organics, lambing, shearing, all the time trying to prove that I was as good as Jack. Anyway, whatever I was doing it for, I'm not sure I was doing it for the right reason. Well, sounds to me you were doing it because you love Jack. He used to take the mickey out of the way I lived before. Going skiing, coming to wine bars. Well, it did take you skiing. Oh, it's the dry slope at Skipdale. Well, <laughs> I mean, can you see Ned and Jack coming here on a lad's night out? <laughs> Sing as you ask. <laughs> since working with Andrew, I, uh, since working with my mind, I've just realised how much I was missing it all. Well, you got the best of both worlds now. You got a smashing husband, and you got something to stimulate your brain cells. And my palate. Fancy another bottle? <laughs> I hate eating on an empty stomach. Does your professor come here much? Oh, yeah. Well, he's a bachelor. He doesn't like cooking for one all the time. You seem to know a lot about him. So you're not just talking about sonnets and things like that, then? <laughs> no. I hate talking to people like that. They make me feel nervous. You know, like I'm going to say something stupid or something. Oh, I felt like that at first with Andrew, but... I just kept nodding and smiling. Eventually, he asked if he'd said something stupid because I was grinning all the time. <laughs> Sounds like a great boss. Better than the one I work for. Oh, you mean me? Or oh, Alan Turner. Mr Turner. Do you know, I reckon he must have drunk most of last year's profit. We can knock it. <laughs> I've spent my first week's wages in this past two hours. But in that case, I'm spend some more of mine. Hey, do you fancy a brandy? Uh, no.